Hello everyone. In the last video, we learned about what is Power BI and what are the various components. In this video, we will learn how to create a report in Power BI. Um, we'll create this report in the Power BI desktop. I've got this Excel data set with me, which gives me the sale amount by city, state, and country. So for example, in New South Wales in Australia, what was the sales amount? We will just grab this data. So we'll go to the get data and say Excel. And we'll select the sales by geography and click on open. Once uh, we've connected to the Excel workbook, it shows us the table and we'll select this, click on load. Once the data has been loaded, it becomes available to us on, under the fields tab. And we'll just select the country and the sales amount. And you can see here that Power BI selects the, the visualization for us by default. And it's showing us the sales amount by country. So let's say we will use this. And what you can do is do a control C and a control V. And keep the selected, the one at the bottom and change the visualization to, uh, let's say I want to have a look at the data in a matrix format. And we've got, excuse me, and we've got the data available to us in a matrix format as well. And we'll again control do a control copy, control C and control V. And we'll convert this into a clustered bar chart. Let's make it a vertical one. And we'll move it. At the bottom. And as you can see, it shows us the country and the sales amount. For example, now if I select Australia, you can see that the map highlights Australia and even the matrix gets filtered for Australia. So it, it is auto, it automatically interactive. And we can just go and if you select somewhere not on the bar, it gives us all the fields again. So in this video, we learned how to create a dashboard in Power BI. Uh, I will take you through the comp additional components of what's a data model and how to create a data model, how to get data from different sources and how to join them together, how to build transformations. The main purpose of this uh, video was just to show you the capabilities of Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.